We've looked at the law of sines ambiguous case in which zero triangles are possible. Now we're going to look at the case where one triangle is possible. Exactly one triangle is possible. So again, let's get our setup here. Let's say that's going to be angle A. That will be angle B. We're, we need to figure out where angle C would have to go on this line. And that means that this is side C. And let's say in this case angle A is 30 degrees. Side A, let's say, is 4 this time, and side C, uh, let's say, is 8 again. So this would be 30 degrees, and that would be 8. So the question is, <clears throat> if, angle, if side A is 4, that means that's the side I'm going to be drawing from B down to this side here. The question is, where would it touch? Now, we saw a situation in which it could be too short, right? If it was two, we saw it could just be too short and wouldn't make it. No triangles could be possible. It could be just long enough to touch right here. So if this is a side, let's say this is the length four. If that's the length four, then if I situate it like this, it's, see it's too short to reach the other side. And if I swing it this way, again, too short to reach the other side. But if I go straight down, I have determined one triangle. Okay, I've determined one triangle. So we'll call that four, that's side A. What that means is this is a 90 degree angle. So sometimes the information is given such that there's one unique triangle determined because this side A here is just long enough to reach the other side in one way. All right, so if that's, at this point we actually know a lot because if that's a four, this has to be 60 degrees angle C is here, it's 90, and angle B would be 60 degrees. Hey, what do you know? It's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. That's just a coincidence uh, for this problem. Uh, I, I chose it to, to work out this for this problem just because it's, it makes some of the solving easier. All right. Um, we, we know side B here, but let me just, let, let's pretend it's not a 30, 60, 90, and you didn't know the relationships. Um, what you would do because again, we won't always have the, the image here, the, the picture here. What you would do in this situation is, if this is this in, uh, the situation you started with, you'd, you'd go, okay, I'm just going to apply the law of sines. Sine of 30 degrees divided by 4 equals uh, sine of C divided by 8. And when you solve this, What you notice is on this left-hand side you get um, you get two you get one right eight times sine of thirty you'll notice if you put it in the calculator or you should all know the sine of thirty that's eight times a, a half which is four divided by four is one you get sine of c is equal to one and whether you recognize it at this step or the next step if the sine of an angle is one that means that that angle is ninety degrees. Uh, whoops one is 90 degrees. And you put that here. And then you that at that point you have noticed that this is 60 degrees. And then you solve for this side here. Okay. Uh, which incidentally we it should just be for root 3. <clears throat> right. But the point is uh, the point is that this is how you know that in this situation one triangle is formed. It's when this happens that angle is a 90 degree angle and visually what happened was that this side was uh, was it happened to be the one that went r directly from B to C uh, forming a right angle with this opposite side so here's a situation in which one triangle is possible okay and then and in the next video we're going to see when two triangles are possible